Gemini's launch has been met with considerable anticipation and speculation, with expectations of it being a significant contender against other AI models like OpenAI's GPT-4. How true could this possibly be? What are its capabilities? In what ways does Gemini outshine GPT-4 and other models? How will OpenAI react to Google's Gemini? These questions and more we hope to provide answers to in this video. So, if you're intrigued by AI advancements, especially in the wake of GPT-4, this video is for you. Make sure to stay till the end and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more AI updates. Google's Gemini multimodal AI model has been making headlines as it claims to outperform OpenAI's GPT-4, as well as expert level, humans in a range of intelligence tests. It is a highly advanced artificial intelligence model developed by Google, marking a significant step forward in AI technology. Its multimodal features make it possible for it to process and understand various types of information such as text, code, audio, images, and video. This ability makes it exceptionally versatile and capable of handling a wide range of tasks. Gemini comes in three versions, Nano, Pro, and Ultra with Ultra being the most capable. Gemini Ultra is notable for being the first generative AI model to surpass human experts on the MMLU, Massive Multitask Language Understanding, benchmark, which assesses knowledge across 57 subjects. Google reports that Gemini Ultra scored 90% on the MMLU, compared to GPT-4's 86.4% and human experts' 89.8%. The release of Gemini has raised a lot of responses from experts in the field. Most responded with a mixture of admiration for its capabilities and skepticism about its claimed superiority over other models like GPT-4. Melanie Mitchell, an AI researcher at the Santa Fe Institute, acknowledges that Gemini is a sophisticated AI system, especially in its performance on language and code benchmarks. However, she points out that it's not clear if Gemini is substantially more capable than GPT-4, particularly since Gemini seems to perform less impressively with images and video. This suggests that multimodal foundation models, which Gemini is part of, still have a long way to go to be robustly useful for a wide range of tasks. Percy Liang, director of Stanford's Center for Research on Foundation Models, also highlights the difficulty in interpreting Gemini's benchmark scores without knowing the specifics of its training data. The benchmarks used by Google to measure Gemini's performance, particularly the MMLU, Massive Multitask Language Understanding, where Gemini reportedly outperformed GPT-4, might not provide complete insight into the model's real-world capabilities. This is compounded by the lack of transparency about the training data and methodologies used in developing Gemini. Emily Bender, a professor of computational linguistics at the University of Washington, criticizes Google's approach of using narrow benchmarks for evaluating Gemini. She argues that this limits the ability to thoroughly evaluate a model that is intended for diverse applications. Overall, while Gemini is touted for its advancements, particularly its ability to process and understand different types of input, like text, images, and audio, experts caution against taking its reported superiority at face value without more comprehensive data and evaluations. They also stress the need for more transparency in the AI field, especially concerning the training and evaluation of such advanced models. In all these, one would expect a response from the newest kid in the league of tech giants, OpenAI. OpenAI's response to Google's introduction of Gemini seems to be focused on further developing and enhancing its own AI technologies. While there is no direct statement from OpenAI specifically addressing Gemini, the organization is reportedly working on advancing its own AI models to maintain its position in the AI field. One of the significant developments from OpenAI is the introduction of GPT Vision, an enhancement to GPT-4 that focuses on image understanding. This feature aims to enable broader applications for GPT-4, 
such as generating text to match images, thus expanding the model's multimodal capabilities. The image understanding feature was a major highlight during GPT-4's unveiling, but has not yet been widely released to users due to concerns about potential misuse, like facial recognition. In addition to GPT Vision, OpenAI is also rumored to be working on a new AI model, codenamed Gobi, which is designed to be multimodal from the start. This new model could potentially evolve into what might be known as GPT-5. Gobi represents OpenAI's continued commitment to advancing AI technology in a multimodal direction, similar to Google's approach with Gemini. These developments suggest that OpenAI is actively working to enhance the capabilities of its AI models, potentially in response to the advancements made by competitors like Google with Gemini. However, it's important to note that this is an evolving field, and both organizations are likely to continue making significant strides in AI development. In conclusion, the future of Google's Gemini AI appears promising, with significant implications for various industries. With its multimodal capabilities and access to Google's vast proprietary data, Gemini is set to transform the generative AI landscape. This AI model is not just about language processing. It also integrates image and text generation, leveraging Google's extensive resources. The collaboration between Google Brain and DeepMind teams adds considerable expertise to Gemini's development and the market for generative AI, where Gemini is positioned to be a key player, is projected to reach 1.3 trillion by 2032. Gemini's multifaceted nature and backing by Google's resources suggest a potential to outperform existing models in generating sophisticated insights and applications across various domains. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. To stay updated on more tech news and tips, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Until next time, keep exploring the future of tech.